Let's watch this video to become an expert in addition. Now let us quickly do a few more examples so that it'll get easier when you advance an addition. Let's take another problem here. 2 plus 5 equals. Now say you had two apples and you went to the store and bought five more. You must be really in love with apples to buy so many. <laughs> so anyways, let me draw two apples here. Okay, there's two apples here, two nice red juicy apples. Okay, now since you seem to like so many apples, I'm going to draw five more. One, two, three, four, five. Now, let's add all of these apples up. Okay, so we have one apple here, two apple here, okay, this one. You already had two really nice apples, and I guess you're really hungry, so you bought more. So here's your third apple here, okay, that's three. Here's four. Here is five. Here is six. And here is seven. Wow. So what's the answer again? The answer is seven. You're going to be a very, very healthy kid. Now, as you can see, a lot of times you get the same answer even when you add two different numbers. We've already seen 3 plus 4 and 4 plus 3, and now we've seen 2 plus 5. Also is 7. Now, let's do another one here. Let's see what is 6 plus 1 equal to. When you add 1, you get the very next number. So in this case, you have 6 plus 1. Now, you don't have to draw any objects here. All you have to do is count one up. So you know that 6 plus 1, what's the next number after 6 plus 1? Yes, I'm sure you could guess. It's 7. Okay, so here we go. The answer is 7. One more above 6. So 6 plus 1, add one more, is 7. So now let me show you two other examples. Let's go down here. What is 4 plus 5? And we'll do one more. I'll put an equal sign here. And 6 plus 3 equals. Now, do you feel they sum up to the same number? Well, let's see if you're right or wrong. Let's check. Let me draw four cherries here. Okay? There's one. I love cherries. Two, three, and four kind of look like the apples except with bigger stems. Okay, and here's five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's count them up. There's one, that one, two, this one is three, this one is four, here five, six, seven, eight, and the last one is nine. Okay, so four plus five, that four here, okay, and five here together is nine. Now let's try this one. Six plus three. Hmm. Let's say we have six safety pins. Okay, so here's one pin. Kind of looks like a shoe, but here's another pin. Okay, as you can see, I'm not very good at drawing safety pins. That's three, four, five, six. Okay, now for some reason you need to pin something up really badly, so you needed even more safety pins. So let's just put the plus sign here. You went out and bought three more. One, two, three. Okay, so let's count them and see how many we have in total. So we have one safety pin, there's two safety pin, three, and four, five, 
six, and you needed more, so seven, eight, and nine. Right? So here we go again. The answer is nine. Just like in four plus five, which was which is nine, you also have six plus three, which equals nine. Now both problems had different numbers, okay? Now the answer was still the same. That's interesting now, isn't it? You know, the more you practice, you get faster and you can solve your problems. So see you next time. Keep on working at it.